Yo, everybody, how's it going? It is your boy, Burkround88, coming at you with a team builder video. I've been getting questions about how many team builders are we going to get, their overalls, why I think I'm going to get that many, or just in general, what I'm going to have to build to get after them all, or who I think they're going to be. So I got a lot of team builder questions, so I figured, why not give a team builder video? If you are curious about how the team builders work, or what could come up, this video is for you. If not, you know, maybe stick around, check it out, see what you think, and then leave your opinion in the comment section down below on uh, the team builders and who you think will be perfect 96s. Because I give my predictions on who I think could be 96s and why. But let's get into it, guys. See why they're built, how they're built, and what they and what you're going to need to build them. If you do like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let's get into it. Okay, so when we're going to start and talk about team builders, we're going to start at the 84s. One, there's 32. There's one for each team. You need 25 players from their team to build the 87s. Now, you don't need to build all 32 teams. If you find one team cheaper than another, you can just keep you can just keep building that team over and over again. But you need 25 NHL players to build 184. Now, you'll need six 84s to build one of the 87s. So that leaves you needing 150 NHL players to build 187. Now, when it comes to the 90s, there were six 90s and there was eight 87s. So if you take the eight 87s and you convert them into the six 90s, you're still too short. So you needed to go build two more 87s to get all of the 90s. This is important because this is the trend that you're going to see them taking, which is what's going to lead us into the farther video on what you can expect for the 96s. So you had eight 87s, you needed 12 87s to build all six. So you needed to build four more 87s to get the extra two 80 the extra two 90s that you needed. And then that brings us into the the 93s, which you have four. And if you got six 90s and you get four 93s, well, you have to turn two into each one. That means you need two extra 90s to make all four of the 93s. So you can see the trend here in which you need two, 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 right? It, it's, so now we go from needing four 87s to build the extra 90s we needed to needing two 90s to build the extra 93 that we needed. This is where it's going to drift into the 96s, where we're going to need three 96s. So you're going to have to go build two more 93s because these four 93s are going to turn into two 96s but they're going to give you a third 96. One, they always like giving an option. So if you had the four 93s and you didn't want one of the options, there's two options you can turn in there. And then the other thing is that gets you building more of these team builders to chase down more team builders, giving you more things to do with your cards and getting more of a chase, fluctuating the market. It, adding that extra team builder does a lot of things to this game. One, it gets people grinding. It gets people on the auction house. It gets people active. So giving that extra team builder helps in a lot of ways and also packs but you'll need 1200 total nhl players to build all the 96s but like i said if you've got all the 93s already you only truly need two more 93s to build the last 96 which will end up costing you 48 team builders in this category here that's where we bring the number down we bring it easy simple all the way down to this category i'm not going to tell you you need this many of the 90s this many of the 90 87s you need 48 NHL team builders from the 84 sets to get the last two 93s you need to get yourself the last 96. So if you have all the 93s and you're thinking and wondering how many of these team builders do I have to build to get the last 96, you need to build 48 of these to get the last 96 you're going to need to complete all three 96s. And then that brings us to the 99. There'll be two 99s. And the reason I say there'll be two 99s is because you'll have three 96s you'll turn two 96s into 199 and then you'll be left with a 93 which leaves you with a 96 which gives you the decision of do i keep the 96 and have a 99 or do i make another 96 which is going to cost me another 48 nhl team builders from this set to make the last 99 so before i get into why i like team builders what i think about the team builders and who i think are going to be the 96s and maybe even we could throw out some names for some 99s but that's really far away we'll wait and see who the 96s are put in the comment section down below any questions you had about that because i've been getting a lot of questions about team builders and if there was any questions in that bracket of examples on how team builders are built how they're working and what you can expect leave that in the comment section down below and i will get back to it as quick as i possibly can i read all my comments guys and i answer them as soon as i see them so when it comes to building the 96s if you have all nine if you have all four of the current 93s you will need 48 of the 84 team builders that's the easiest way to explain it you'll need to go build 48 more there's 32 options so if you're slowly stacking all the teams like i am you'll need to do all 32 and then some so keep that in the back of your mind when you're getting rid of nhl 
players because you'll need a lot of NHL players to do these team builders. Now, right now, currently on the market, you can get NHL players for a thousand coins. If you're thrifty, if you're patient, you'll need 1200 NHL players to get the extra 293s you need to make that last 96, which is 1.2 million coins, guys. If you're patient, you're thrifty, that's what it'll cost you to get a 96. Now, who are these 96s? This is who I'd like to see personally. And I think there's a good reason that these 96s are who they build because then it, it really gives you decisions on the 99s. And some of the names I'd like to see would be Matt Sundin, Yarmer Yager, and Keith Yandel. Keith Yandel would be a solid defenseman. He's six foot one. He would be amazing to see amazing to see a great card of. He only has like an 81, I believe, right now. He doesn't really have a great card. And then Matt Sundin and Yarmer Yager are dominant forwards. Matt Sundin just got a 91 card. That doesn't really necessarily mean he's not going to get a team builder. I hope Matt Sundin gets a team builder. It's a player I really want to see. And then Yarmer Yager, we all know, had a team builder last year. Will he make him? Will he not? I think he is too good of a card not to make, and I think that everybody would want him, so they would give us those cards. Now, some people said they want to see Matt Sundin as the 99 team builder. The reason I think Yager, Yandel, and Matt Sundin would be great 96s is, is because that would incentivize people to make that hard decision or have to build up more 96 team builders to get the Matt Sundin back after they get the 99s. So I'm just going to throw out two names. Let's say Buka Boom and Heatley are 99s. You're going to want to build up all your 96s into those 99s. You're going to build an extra 96 so you can go get 99 Buka Boom, 99 Heatley. And then after you have those two 99s on your team, you're going to be like, man, I want Sundin and Yager back. So you're going to go then build up again. I'm not saying everybody will. That's a big investment. Some people will. Like me, I'm a huge Matt Sundin fan. It would be a hard decision to part with Matt Sundin to the point where I would rebuild him just so I can have Matt Sundin, Buka Boom, and Danny Heatley for an example. And that would be a huge expense, but it would be one that people would make. And if they just, say, made 99 Matt Sundin, then there would be a little bit of grind taken off the table. And I think making the 96 is a better name than the 99s. People are going to want the 99s because they're 99s, but then they're going to also want the 96s if they're a great name. So those are my predictions for Team Builders, guys. Now, there is a set in the store for 950 points. Um, that gets you one 84 Team Builder. I wouldn't recommend that. Um... Don't don't spend ten bucks on one eighty four team builder. Twenty five gold players, twenty five NHL players is not hard to come by if you play this game. You get a lot of rewards. Don't don't spend ten bucks on an eighty four. You can only buy five of them, so that doesn't even get you one eighty seven. Just take your time. You got some time still. It's not going to be till I'm thinking end of March. So you still got a month. Save up. Slowly buy these cards off the auction house and and just plug away at it take your rewards put your rewards to that get cards off the auction house put that towards that and just slowly work on your team builders but you got enough time where you don't have to rush out and spend ten dollars per 84 when really an 84 only costs you 25 nhl players which is only twenty five thousand coins as of right now so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it again if you have any questions about the team builders leave that in the comment section down below and get out there guys get as many cards as you can and enjoy the game until next time ciao ciao